praise the Lord. Let's sing this hymn of the church together down at the cross, down at the cross, where my Savior died. Down where from cleansing from sin I cried, oh, there to my heart was the blood applied, singing glory to his name. Everybody singing glory to his name, precious name. Oh, glory to his name. Oh, there to my heart was the blood applied, singing glory to his name. I am so wondrously, I am so wondrously saved from sin. Jesus so sweetly abides within Oh, there at the cross where he took me in Singing glory to his name Verse 3, oh precious, oh precious fountain That saves from sin I am so glad I have entered in Oh, there Jesus saves me and keeps me clean singing glory to his name everybody singing glory to come on put those sanctified hands together glory to his name oh then at the cross oh singing glory to his name last verse oh so rich and sweet cast that poor soul at the Savior's feet oh plunge in today and be made complete we're singing glory to I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost singing glory to his precious name singing glory My heart was the blood of life, singing glory to his name. Come on, everybody's glory to his name, precious name, singing glory to his name. Oh, there to my heart was the blood of life, singing glory. Now can we just give God praise right here like we're in the sanctuary together? Come on, clap those hands, everybody, as we sing glory to the name of Jesus. Ah, glory to his name. Oh, there to my heart was the blood of blood. Sing it, glory. Let's sing it one more time. Oh, glory to his name. Precious name, singing glory to his name. Oh, there to my heart was the blood applied. Singing glory to his name. Come on and give God glory in this place on today. Hallelujah, we shout glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, we bless the Lord today for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah, we give God the praise, glory, and honor because he's worthy, 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 worthy. Ha, ha, glory to the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Welcome to the Better Life Church of God and Christ. Church at home experience. It's Sunday morning. Ha, glory to God. And the Bible says that the first day of the week, hallelujah, we should come together and worship God. Because it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful unto him and bless his holy name 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Does anybody have anything to be grateful for on today? Does anybody have anything to thank God for on today? Does anybody have anything worth giving God praise on today? Lift up those holy hands, hallelujah, in your sanctuary. Close your eyes and open up your mouth and worship the Lord our God. Hallelujah, for he is holy. He is wonderful. He is mighty. And God, we love you today. We honor you. We praise you. And we magnify your name. Let us go to the Lord in prayer as we invoke his presence. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome, yes, Lord. Thou art welcome in this place. Most gracious and eternal Father, God, we thank you today. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your anointing. God, we thank you for your grace. And we thank you for your peace. Father, today we come to say thank you. Hallelujah. For the many manifold blessings that you have bestowed upon us, your people. God, we come today to say thank you. Because when we think on the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for us, our soul cries out, hallelujah. God, we say thank you. Because when we should have been found guilty, you sent your son, hallelujah, to die on the cross for our sins. And today, hallelujah, we're able to say I'm saved, glory, hallelujah, by his power divine. I'm saved to new life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete. For I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. And God, we thank you today, hallelujah, for salvation. God, we thank you today for restoration, for redemption. God, we thank you, hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you, 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 we thank you. Hallelujah, we thank you and we give you praise today. Hallelujah. Forgive us right now with all of our sins, Father. Wash us thoroughly in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood that cleanses, the blood that delivers, the blood that heals, the blood that sets free. Oh God, clean us up right now. Renew us within our renew our minds within a right spirit, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, do it only like you can. Hallelujah. God, we pray today that your anointing would fill the very hearts of those who have come to worship you today. Father, we pray that your will might be done in the midst of your people. Save the soul that is nearest hell and reclaim the backslider, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let the word of God, hallelujah, penetrate the hearts of the sinner man. Let the word of God penetrate the hearts of your people. As the word goes forth, oh God, let it do what you have sent it to do. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray for our pastor. We pray for our leader. We pray for your manservant that you would strengthen and anoint him, oh God. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Have your way, have your way, have your way in this service. Hallelujah. We be careful to give thy name the glory and honor, for they all belong to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Come on and give God some glory today. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord was upon me. And carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? 
and I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Hallelujah. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them then he said unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and say to the wind thus said the Lord God come from the four winds oh breathe and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded and the breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet and an exceeding great army. May the blessing of the Lord be to those who hear, read, and do his holy word. Amen. We praise God for what our ears have heard and what our eyes have seen thus far. And I pray today, hallelujah, as we continue in the spirit and in the season of Pentecost, as the scripture has said, I dare you to prophesy, hallelujah, to your neighbor that's in that house. And if you're alone on today watching the service of the Lord, I dare you to open up your mouth and speak to yourself speak to the wind and prophesy I shall live ha, glory to God and not die yes 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 I feel that in the spirit I feel that in the atmosphere I feel that hallelujah ah yes say it again I shall live hallelujah and not die to declare the works of the Lord hallelujah can we have a little bit of church on today? Oh, hallelujah. Did you come to praise the name of the Lord on today? Did you come to glorify him? That hand clapping, foot stomping, tongue talking, Pentecostal, church of God in Christ. Did you come to bless him? Did you come to glorify him? Oh, come on. Don't fool me now. Did you come to glorify the Lord on today? Hallelujah. Has he been good to you? Has he done a new thing in your life? Then let's give God glory, 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 glory. We come to glorify his name. Glorify his name. Glorify his name. Glorify his name. Glorify the name of the Lord. Glorify his name. Oh, we come to glorify his name. Glorify his name. Glorify his name. Oh, glorify his name. Come to glorify the name of the Lord. Glorify his name. We come to glorify his name. Glorify his name. Oh, glorify his name. Glorify his name, we come to glory. Oh, glorify his name. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful 
name of we come to bless that wonderful name of Jesus oh no other name I know oh bless that wonderful name of Jesus we come to bless that Jesus come to bless that wonderful name of Jesus no other name Come on, put those hands together. There is power in the name of power in the name of there is power in the name of oh I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. Come on, go again, go again. Hallelujah. Are you a soldier in the army of the Lord today? Hallelujah. Can I dare you to give God praise? Oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, yes, I told Satan. Get thee behind, oh, victory today is mine. Victory, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, yes, I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Oh, joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. Oh, I told Satan, get thee behind. Joy today is mine. One more time, oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Oh, I told Satan, get thee behind. Oh, I told Satan, get thee Oh yes, I told Satan. Oh yes, I told Satan. Get thee behind. Oh, victory today is mine. Hallelujah. Do you have the victory? Do you have the victory? Hallelujah. We have the victory. Ah, glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 victory, hallelujah, over the economy, victory over corona, victory over sickness, victory over the enemy. Somebody shout victory. Come on and give his name glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. We pray you have enjoyed the service thus far. We're going to get into a few announcements and then we'll get right back to the service. We want you to join us in Sunday school every Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. by way of the GoToMeeting app. If you know your Bible, the Sunday school needs you. If you don't know your Bible, you need the Sunday school. Again, join us for the best school in the world, Sunday school, Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m. On Wednesdays, join us at 7 p.m for prayer and Bible study, also on the GoToMeeting app. 
It's good when we pray and study God's word together. So be sure to join us on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. via the GoToMeeting app. Also on Fridays at 12 noon, you can join Pastor Dwayne S. McNair Sr. for Noonday Prayer, also via the GoToMeeting app. We believe that prayer has gotten us this far, and we also believe that it would take us even farther. If you are available, please join Pastor McNair at 12 noon on Fridays for Noonday Prayer. It's offering time. This is the part of the service where we all can participate. The ways to give are shown on your screen right now. Either of those avenues you can use. It is better to give than to receive. It's even better to give when you're happy about giving. I just wanna give a small testimony about what I receive in my giving. I give as much as I can, when I can, I even sacrifice in my giving. Because I do that, I had a situation once where I had given, was gone someplace, and I thought I had given all the money that I had in my purse. Went into my purse and there was more money. Every time I went to pull some money out, there was another 20. Went to the store, thought I had given my last 20, opened my purse, there were two more 20s. I don't know where this money was coming from, but I'm thanking God and trusting that he supplied my needs. So give and it shall be given unto you. Lord, we thank you right now for this blessing. We thank you for the blessing of being able to give. We ask you bless every giver, Lord, and return it to them 30, 60, even 100 fold. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We're getting ready to hear the word of the Lord from our leader and our pastor, Superintendent Dwayne S. McNair Sr. But before he comes, as we celebrate the Lord's passion, his life, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Today we can testify that we have the victory, not because of any goodness, strength, or power of our own. But today we can go on and we can face tomorrow because Jesus lives. Hallelujah. Let's sing the song of the Lord on today. God sent his son They called him Jesus He came to love Heal and forgive He lived and died By my pardon, an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives because he lives, because he lives. I can face tomorrow because. All fear, all fear is gone. Oh, because I know, oh, oh, who holds the future. Hallelujah. And life is worth the living just, yes, because he lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby, a newborn baby, and feel the pride, and feel the pride, and joy he gives. But greater still, but greater still, the calm. This child can face uncertain days because he lives. Oh, because, because he lives. Thank you, Jesus. I can face tomorrow. Oh, because he lives. Oh. Gone. Oh, because 
holds the future Yes, and life is worth the living Just because he lives And then one day This is my testimony I'll cross the river Find a war with pain And then as death Hallelujah Gives way to victory I'll see the lights of glory And I'll know he lives Won't you stand in your homes Because he lives I can face tomorrow oh, Because he lives All fear is gone Because I know Because he lives Come on, let's sing it together Because he lives I can face tomorrow Because he lives All fear is gone Just because he lives, yes. Ah, glory to God. Ah, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in me. Hey, glory. He lives in me. Oh, my glory. He lives in me. Oh, come on and worship him. 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 Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. He's not dead, uh, but he's alive. Yes, 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 yes. He's alive. How do I know it? Because he's living. Yes, he's living inside of me. He lives in me. He lives in me. Hallelujah. He lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in me. Oh, he lives in me. Why don't you throw those hands up like you in the sanctuary? I know we're coming back on August 1st, but what if we just practice right now? Ah, like God has already brought us back together. And the spirit of the living God is moving in your homes right now. Whatever you need. 
whatever you need. He's doing it right now. As a matter of fact, it's already done. In Jesus' name, give him glory. Give him honor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, come on, don't stop, don't stop. You're almost there. Press forward. Press forward. Press forward. Press forward. Open up your mouth. Glorify his name. Because while you're glorifying him, he's working it out. While you're glorifying him, he's healing your body. While you're glorifying him, he's doing a new thing. Oh, hallelujah. Don't let this blessing pass you by. Don't let this anointing pass you by. Don't let this miracle pass you by. But give God glory. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, yes, yes. He's keeping the enemy out of your business. He's keeping the enemy out of your bank accounts. He's keeping the enemy out of your body. All because you've chosen to bless the Lord. All oh, my soul and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Hey, glory. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. My voice is going, but I still got to praise. Bless his holy name. I give him praise. I'll give him praise. I'll give him praise. I'll give him praise. I'll give him praise. Oh, I'll give him praise. As required, our spirits, won't you just lift those hands and worship the Lord? Speak to him today. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you depend on him. For we are nothing without God. So God, we trust. Ha! Huh. We trust you, we trust you, we trust you, we trust you. We trust you, we trust you, we trust you. Praise God. Praise God, what a mighty God we serve. There is no God like our God. We thank, his, thank him and praise his name for who he is and what he has done in our lives. Today we want to continue as God has blessed us and kept us to share the good news of Jesus Christ and to say thank you for sharing with us with church at home. Truly God is an awesome God and I just praise him for his mighty acts and his excellent greatness. Let us pray. Most kind and gracious and everlasting Father, today we thank you. We thank you because you are good and you are God alone. We thank you for the sun that's shining and every now and then the rain that's falling. But God, we recognize more than any that you are always with us. You are always moving through us. As we give you thanks today, we ask that you let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in that sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the church at home say amen. Amen. Truly, I'm blessed on the Lord, of the Lord today. And I want to share a word from the Lord coming to you from the book of Acts, the ninth chapter, and a few verses here. I guess I'll read about eight verses today as we begin to develop this text. Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 8. And Saul 
yet breathing out threatening and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound, bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined around about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecuteth thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecuteth. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice but seeing no man. And Saul arose, in verse 8, from the earth, and uh, when his eyes were open, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. May God add a blessing to the reading of the word of God. Today I want to talk to you from the subject when God calls me out, I'm coming in. When God calls me out, I am coming in. It is important to recognize that in Matthew's gospel, we find that we are called out ones. When we are saved, we are called out. I remember reading uh, in uh, various scriptures in the book of John where it says ye have not chosen me but I have chosen you and I've called you to bear fruit and that that fruit of those fruit may remain God is calling us out when he saves us it's no goodness of my own someone said it's no goodness of my own that God has saved me hallelujah it's nothing that I can do to inherit salvation. There's nothing that I can do to inherit the gift of God, but it's God who calls us out. It's God who makes it plain that he has chosen us and have called us to be a part of his kingdom and to be a part of the blessings of the Lord. In uh, the book of 1 Peter, it tells us, it says, but we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that we should show forth the praises of him who have called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. So here we reaffirm that God is calling us out. When God saves us, God is calling us out. When God heals us, he is calling us out. When God delivers us, he is calling us out. So when he calls me, this is what I'm going to say, when he calls me out, I'm coming in. I heard a particular elder around the church when uh, he first came to this church, he said, my name is Flynn and I'm all in. Lord, have mercy. And I tell you the truth, ever since he's been here, he's been all in. I want to be all in with God. I don't want to be half of the way. I don't want to be 98% of the way. I want to be 100 proof for God because that is very, very important. We were born to be called out. Hallelujah. Even before we were in our mother's womb, we were born to be called out by God. We were called out of darkness, as I said in the scripture Hallelujah. Into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. We are called to be just like him. We are called and we are born to be like Christ and to have Christ reigning and ruling on the inside 
and on the outside. Let us look at the story of Paul as we kind of refresh our text as to what's going on here in Acts tonight chapter, the first eight verses gives us a small summary of Paul's encounter with Jesus Christ. The story goes on to say that there were a few people like the Apostle Paul who helped shape history and the church and Christianity. Even before he got saved, he was a very powerful and affluent astute person. When God changed his life, Paul's life, God changed his behavior and not who he was. That's very important because a lot of people are fearful to accept Christ in their lives because they feel like God is going to change who they are. But God does not change who you are. God needed a fierce person like Paul. God needed a, a person like Paul so that he could uh, use him for his glory. Amen. Since in the beginning, the Bible tells us we were born and shaped in iniquity and in sin that our mothers consumed us. But while we were in sin, we developed certain personalities. We developed certain traits in our lives. And God said, I want to use that person. I want to use this person, even though he says that no one should be lost and it's his desire that everyone comes unto him, but sometimes we slip away. Sometimes we cannot come back to where we should be in God. Sometimes we don't recognize, in, even in our sins, that we are falling short of the glory of God. If you remember in the text, uh, God refers to Paul, Jesus refer, refers to Paul. He says in verse 4, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? And I want every believer, every non-believer to recognize that when you are not in Christ, it's like a persecution to Christ. It's like a persecution to the body of Christ. It's like a persecution to the movement of Christ. So here we find Paul was a good person uh, in uh, his place, but he had sin in his life. God did not change who Paul was. He took away the sin that was in Paul's life and kept Paul intact. That is to say that when uh, the fire of the Holy Ghost burned in him and through him, it consumed the sin in that person, but not the person. Paul was known to be a devout Jew, a Pharisee, knowing how, uh, let's say, the church operated. Hallelujah. There are a lot of people in the church that know the church operation, know the church business, but they do not have Christ in their lives. There are a lot of people that go to church, but the church is not in them. There are a lot of people that know how to wave their hands and to pat their feet and to speak in tongues, but the Holy Spirit is not in them. So Paul was a very unique person. Hallelujah. Even though Paul was, was surnamed or prenamed Saul at the time, he was fierce and he was determined to do in excellence whatever he set out to do. At this time, Paul's life, in Paul's life, he sought out to lead the charge in persecuting the Christians in the early church. By the time Stephen, the deacon, was killed, he was stoned to death, I imagine that God said, enough is enough. So he, meaning God, called him out. And the question was, why are you persecuting me? Why are you messing in my business? Why are you trying to destroy what I just built? Hallelujah. The Bible do declare that upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against him. We find that here in this post-Pentecostal movement season where the 120, as we talked about these few weeks ago, began to experience a change in their life through the baptism of the Holy Ghost. 
Hallelujah. They had a fire burning on the inside of them, and the fire was qualified and called and ordained only to burn out sin, but not to burn out that person. Oh, it puts me back all the way to uh, when we go back to the Pentateuch in the Old Testament scriptures, how Moses looked at the burning bush and it was a non-consuming fire. Hallelujah. So as we look forward, as we see here, uh, even in the Old Testament, God had a fire that he wanted to get started. Hallelujah. In the human body, in the human soul, in the human mind that would help us recognize that those things that were, that were not pleasing to God, hallelujah, that he could burn them out. Hallelujah. So he asked the question, why are you persecuting me? Why are you uh, getting into my business? Why are you doing what you are doing? Hallelujah. That day, Paul's eyes were blinded, but his vision allowed him to see God. Praise God. Let's look deeper into Paul just for a few more minutes. Paul, he was a deeply religious man. Hallelujah. Religion don't get you into heaven. Hallelujah. Loving and serving God is what gets us into heaven. He believed that the new Christian movement was dangerous to the Jewish faith. Because of that, he hated Christians. Hallelujah. And sought with fierce desire, with a fierce desire, to persecute the Christian movement and to destroy every new believer. Again, God called him out. God called him out of what he was doing. And, and if you notice in the text, if you go back and read the text, Paul uh, had gotten commission, hallelujah, from the Jewish church, hallelujah. And a lot of times we recognize that, uh, you know, there is wickedness in high places and even in the church. Paul went to the high priest and asked the, the priest for a letter so that he could go to Damascus and uh, destroy him uh, some uh, Christians. The high priest in the church. Hallelujah. Sometimes our issues are not in the world, not with the sinners. Sometimes our issues are with the drama and the issues in our own churches. God save our church. Mm. In this day and this time, the prayer is God save the church. Hallelujah. Because if God save the church, there will be changes that will take place in the world. God called him out. Hallelujah. But just like Paul, every believer, every person, God has given you that opportunity to be called out. God is calling on you. So I'm saying today that when he calls me out, hallelujah, I'm coming in. I'm coming all in, hallelujah. I'm putting it down, whatever, not like God, hallelujah, because God is able, somebody said, that God is able to carry you through. God is able to pick you up out of the muck and the mire. And whatever you are doing, hallelujah, wherever you are, whatever you are in, God is able to deliver you from all manner of evil and sin. It's nothing worse, hallelujah, it's one thing, to be living in, to, in sin is another thing to be fighting what God is doing. Paul was fighting what God was doing. Hallelujah. Paul was fighting God's movement, God, God's desire for mankind, for humanity. Paul was fighting everything with all of the strength that he had. But thanks be to God, hallelujah, God could use that fierceness. God could use that determination, hallelujah. God could use that desire that Paul had in his, in his heart, hallelujah, and change him, hallelujah, change him from the inside out, and then he would still pick up that fierceness. I have, a, I have an issue with uh, many Christians, many believers, hallelujah, that think that they could just send to the max when they are in the world, and then come into the church and relax like they don't have anything to do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I was headed home on last night, 
and, I, and, and they, were, they were headed to the club. They were clubbing. They were, you know, doing whatever they did. I just drove by. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. But God wants us to recognize the same energy, the same desire, the same passion that you had when you were in the world. God wants you to use it when you are in Christ. But it's going to take an encounter with Christ. Oh, my goodness, I feel a preach coming on today. Hallelujah. It's going to take an encounter with Christ for us to change our lives. Hallelujah. But not who we are. Hallelujah. You can keep you. Hallelujah. But get rid of the sin. Hallelujah. You can keep who you are, but get rid of those things that are weighing you down. You can keep those things on the, that you have in your life that are good for you, that God created for you, that God desired for you to have, and still be who you are. Revelations 3 and 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, oh, if any woman hear my voice and open the door, God is knocking, hallelujah. God is calling, hallelujah. God is asking you to come on in, hallelujah. The table is spread, hallelujah. And the feast of the Lord is going on, hallelujah. I will come unto him, he says in this scripture, and I will sup with him and he with me. God wants to use you. Hallelujah. Not only does he want to save you, but he wants to use you. Hallelujah. Why get saved and you can't help no one else come into the fold? Hallelujah. Remember, hallelujah, he told us in the book of Acts that we shall be saved if we call upon the name of the Lord. But he wanted us to be filled with the Spirit. He wanted us to have the power of God on the inside. God recognizes that you were fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. You are you and God wants you. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. You are you and God wants you. God wants who you are. Hallelujah. God wants what you have. Hallelujah. God wants you. Hallelujah. He does not want to change you as I've been saying most of this message. He don't want to change who you are, but he only wants to change what you do. Hallelujah. He wants to change your behavior. He wants to change your attitude. He wants to change your disposition. He wants you to follow peace with all men. Holiness without which no man can or shall see the Lord. He wants you to walk, hallelujah, down the narrow pathway. He doesn't want you following bad influences. He doesn't want you strung out on drugs. He doesn't want you strung out on opioids. He does not want you strung out, strung out on alcohol. He does not want you out of your mind, but he wants you to have his mind, which is the mind of Christ. God wants to save you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to heal you. Hallelujah. He wants to set you free. Hallelujah. God wants to use you so that you can help somebody else. Hallelujah. David said it best. Hallelujah. In Psalms 51, 12 and 13, he says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Verse 13, he says, Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. When God catches hold of you, when God catches hold of who you are, just like he did in the days of Saul, just like he did in the days of the New Testament church, just like he did with the people of God, that even the people that were against him, God was able to use them because they had an encounter with Christ. God wants your life. Hallelujah. He wants all of your life. Hallelujah. There's no better place that you can have than to have your life given over to God. I can't say it too much, hallelujah. I can't describe it too plainly. I can't call it like it is if you don't understand what I'm saying. But God wants you, hallelujah, to give your life to him. Hallelujah, God wants you to be a witness. God wants you to tell it everywhere you go. 
God wants you to let the world know that you are a changed creation. Not only a royal priesthood, not only a holy nation, but I've been called out of darkness. The things I used to do, hallelujah, the things I used to say, I no longer do them anymore. My life has changed, hallelujah, and it may cause me to have to change my company, but thanks be to God, hallelujah, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, hallelujah. When I call on the Lord, hallelujah, he will answer my cry, hallelujah. God wants you to be the light of the world. God wants you to be in him, hallelujah. God wants to use your personal traits, hallelujah. Every person is not the same. We are different, hallelujah. Every child is not the same. When I was raising my children, hallelujah, I understood that my oldest child was different from my youngest child. Their personality, their personal traits, their habits, hallelujah, their skills, hallelujah, their abilities uh, were different, hallelujah. Even sometimes, even the way they thought were different, hallelujah, but God is using both of them, hallelujah. They may be different in, as individuals, but each and every one of them can use their talents because God wants you to use your talent. God wants you to use what you have what you are used to, what you are familiar with, what you have practiced and became good at. God wants you to use it to his glory. God wants you to use it to his honor. God wants you to glorify him in the way you live, in the way you act. Oh yes, God wants to use you, your personal traits, hallelujah, your personal DNA, your personal attitudes. He just want to change it a little bit, hallelujah. He just want to revive it a little bit. God wants to use your personal experiences. You've been down some roads that I may not have been down, but God wants to use the experience you had or that you have had in the past uh, to help somebody else uh, who may be going through. Uh, God wants you uh, to take those experiences uh, and those behaviors uh, and share it, hallelujah. Even if you don't understand it, just know uh, that if you are in Christ, uh, it's season in Christ. Uh, God wants you to use your network. You have some friends. Uh, you have some Christian friends friends and maybe some non-Christian friends people that know you people that trust you and if they know you and trust you they'll be willing to sit down and consider your testimony you can tell them I once lived in darkness but now I'm in the light you can tell them that like Paul when I had an encounter with Jesus he turned my life around. He made things new. Hallelujah. And I thank God. You can use your network. You can use your influence. You can use the power that you have. The power of influence to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And just because they know you, hallelujah. Oh my goodness. That's what I call a soft witness. A soft witness is somebody you know, hallelujah. You're not just knocking on a door of a person you never seen or a stranger, hallelujah. And sometimes, just like Philip, hallelujah, God can move move on a stranger and prepare them to receive what you have to say but you're gonna have to be bold enough in the Holy Ghost to trust God in your life to trust that God wants you to go into all the world and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ baptizing them every one of them in the name of Jesus the Bible declares that these signs shall follow them that believe hallelujah you shall cast out devils in my name you shall heal the sick even in a pandemic you shall raise the dead hallelujah those that are physically dead 
and those that are spiritually dead. God has given you the power to move on his behalf, to walk on his behalf, to sing on his behalf. Oh my Jesus, I feel like preaching today. I feel like preaching the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. God wants us to be like him. And if we are like him, the world will be better for it. In the name of Jesus, God called us to be witnesses. Don't let him knock you off that horse, knock you off your car, knock you off your feet onto the ground to get your attention. Come on in, the table is spread. Come on in, the feast of the Lord is going on. Come on in, he can save you out of the guttermost into the uttermost. God can change your life. God can make better things for you. God can give you a better life. God can cause you to grow. God can cause you to live in peace. Everything about God, I know it's good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul said yes in the morning. My soul says yes because Jesus was knocking at my door. He called me out and I made up in my mind I was coming in. Yes, 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 yes. All you got to do is say, Lord, hallelujah, I'm coming in and I receive you. I receive you, Lord. I receive you. I can feel you knocking on my door. I can feel you preparing me for something better. I can feel you, Lord. Hallelujah. In my hands, in my feet. I can feel you moving all over me. But God, I want to change my life. I don't want to wait until I get older and experience so many things that will bring me down. I don't want to live amongst the wrong crowd. I don't want the school, the colleges, the places where I go to get educated to share with me the wrong information and I not be strong enough to say, Lord, this is not for me. I want the good life. I want the good news. I want to have you in the bottom of of my heart I want to say yes to your will I want to say yes to your way God I might be 13 years old I'm, I'm talking to the 13 year olders right now hallelujah you can have them in your heart regardless of what age you are and be free because the Bible says he who the son has set free is free in so today when God calls you out when you hear him knocking hallelujah when you hear him pleading saying stop persecuting me when you run from God when you live in sin you're persecuting Jesus stop persecuting Jesus and come on in hallelujah come on in that's what happened to the prodigal son. He found himself in a dire situation and he told the story to himself. He says, here I am wallowing in the mud and my brother and my family, I was living, my, my daddy's servants. Mm, mm, mm living better than I'm living hallelujah God can take the sin that you have in your life and burn it out hallelujah and leave you intact but watch the company that you keep watch the things that you believe in and try them with the word of God and with the spirit of God 
and God will change your life. Let us pray. Most kind and gracious and everlasting Father, we thank you right now. We are forging a plea that when you call the unbeliever, when you call the Christian out, let them fully come in. Save the soul that's near as hell, reclaim the backslider, restore the joy of our salvation, refine us, upgrade us, update us, renew us, reform us, revive us. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We're praying for our brothers and our sisters everywhere that they would hear this word and be blessed by it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Today, if you don't know the Lord, you have the opportunity now to come on in. Hallelujah. Just repeat after me. Say, Lord, I know you died was buried and on the third day you rose again you rose for me just for me hallelujah just for me I'm a tailor made Christian hallelujah I'm not Christian by default I'm a tailor made Christian Lord forgive me wash my sins away Wash me over again in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Wash me over again. Wash me over again. for his mercy is greater than life as we prepare for holy communion as we prepare to share the supplements of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as you prepare at home for those who are ready for those of you at Better Life know what we do each and every month we celebrate Holy Communion on first Sunday because Jesus said as often as ye would do this in remembrance of me we recognize that the night in which he was betrayed he took bread and he blessed it and he shared it among his disciples he said this is my body that was broken for you and then he took the cup that he declared to be the New Testament of his blood that was shed for the remission of our sins. Yes, until he comes back, I want my sins to be blotted out. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you now as we prepare to present to the people and to share with the people Holy Communion. We pray that you will bless the bread, as we said, that represents your body and the fruit of the vine that represents your blood. We pray that you will bless these sacraments in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will give us 
the refreshing that we need in a time as this. We pray that you would bless every believer and every soul that comes forth to share with us a renewed commitment. Hallelujah. A renewed focus. Hallelujah. God, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Hallelujah. A focus, a refocusing on our purpose and on our desires and on our commission and on your will. Let us focus as we share in this communion that you died for us, that you lived for us, that you rose for us, that you are living today, that you are sitting on the right hand of the Father and that your blessed hope, your blessed return, we are waiting for you to come again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The night in which Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and he breaked it. He passed it among his disciples. And he said, this is my body, which was broken for you. Let us eat together. In the same like manner he took the cup that he declared to be the New Testament of his blood that was shed for the remission of our sins. Let us drink together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh how he loved you and me oh how he loved you and me he gave his life what more could he give oh how he loves you loves me you ought to say it oh how he loves you and me I want to say it one more time and if you share with me oh how he loves you and me oh how he loves Christ, yes, yes, hallelujah, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes Lord, oh, Before I close out, thank you for watching. Thank you for praying. 
Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. But until the next time, my prayer is that you would experience a better life. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Oh, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Oh, one.